everyone, how are you? Today we will be working with wishes and rewards. Let's start. Here we have some patterns. Which one do we use for regrets and which one for preferences? Let's try. For instance, wish, if only, what you think. Is this a regret or a preference? Yeah, it's a regret. What about would rather, would prefer? In this case, we are expressing preferences. What about it's time? Yeah, in a way, it's a preference. We indicate that it's the precise moment to do something. Wish and if only. We use past simple after wish to express present reference. For example, if only we had longer holidays. Right now, but we don't. So this is a present reference wish or if only followed by what here we express either complain or annoyance it's often used to complain about someone else's behavior for instance if only the children would be quiet not us we are talking about someone else i wish you would look for a job Wish and if only can also be followed by past perfect. Here we have a past reference. You can change this. There is nothing you can do about it. I wish I had trained as a doctor instead of a teacher. But I didn't, unfortunately, and there is nothing I can do about it right now. So we use past perfect to refer to something that we can't change right now. After a wish, we can also use to infinitive. But remember, this is quite formal. This would be an equivalent of want. Formal situations to mean want. It can be used to talk about the present, past, or future. For example, Napoleon wished to keep his battle plans a secret until the very last moment. So here you can see it's an equivalent of want and it's a formal register. However, note that when people want to talk about their wishes for the future, the verb hope it's more often used. After wish or if only, it's possible to use could to talk about ourselves. If only we could travel abroad, but unfortunately we can't. In this sentence, you cannot use would. You only use would to refer to someone else, not to talk about yourself. Would rather, would prefer. We use these two structures to express preferences. Would rather it's followed by bare infinitive without to. For example, I rather work days than nights. However, would prefer it's followed by an infinitive with to. I'd prefer to go. Would rather can be followed by a subject and past simple to express a present reference. He'd rather you didn't tell anyone about the interview yet. I'd rather you didn't tell anything yet. So here, pay attention, you have a different subject in the second clause. Would prefer it if, followed by subject and past simple. This pattern is used in the same way. I'd prefer it if the interviewer asked a range of questions. I'd prefer it if they didn't always focus on the same things. Would rather can be followed by the subject and past perfect, in this case to express past reference. 
it used to express a wish or preference that actions or events in the past were different. I rather you had asked me before borrowing the car yesterday. Unfortunately, you didn't. So there is nothing we can do about it. It's time, it high time. After it's time, it high time, you have to use the subject and pass simple. This pattern is used to express it's a suitable moment to do something. For example, gosh, it's almost midnight, it's time we went home. Or, it's time we were leaving. Another possibility is to use it's time followed by an object and then to infinitive. It's time for us to go. Another pattern, it's time followed by to infinitive. Come on, it's time to start packing. We have to leave in two hours. Remember, however, that the most likely pattern to find in an exam at this level is the previous one, when it's time it's followed by subject and past simple. Let's revise. Patterns. Which and if only. Which tense do we use to express present reference? Think a little bit. You are right, we use past simple to express present reference. What about past reference? Do you remember which tense we use? Right, past perfect. What about complain or annoyance? Do you remember? Right, we use would. It's very important to keep in mind that we use would to refer to someone else's behavior, not ourselves. Sometimes wish may be a synonym for want. Do you remember the pattern? Right, we use wish followed by to infinitive. And what if we want to refer to ourselves? Right, we use could. Very good. Let's go on. Think a little bit. When do we use present simple after wish? Think. Right, we never ever use present simple after wish. Never ever. We use past simple, past perfect, would, could, even to infinitive, but never ever present simple. Please, repeat after me. We don't use present simple after wish. Right. You are doing great. Let's go on. Would rather. To express a preference about the general situation. What's the pattern? Yes, we use would rather followed by infinitive without to. I'd rather go to the cinema than to the theater. Would rather to express a preference for another person to do something. In this case, we use would rather followed by the subject and then past simple. We can use would prefer to express a preference about a general situation. What's the pattern here? Right. Would prefer followed by to infinitive. What if we want to express a preference for another person to do something we would prefer? Okay, would prefer it if, and then we write the subject and pass simple. It's time. The time is right to do something or for something to happen. We cover three different patterns. Do you remember them? Let's try. 
Yes, the first one. It's time, followed by subject, and then past simple. This is the most likely pattern you will find in an exam. But it's also possible to use it's time, followed by an object, and then to infinitive. It's time for us to go. And it's also possible to write it's time followed by to infinitive. It's time to go. Definitely the most likely pattern to be found in an exam is the first one. Think. Do you remember which one is the most likely to appear in the exam? Yes. It's time followed by subject past simple. Remember that. Now it's time to practice. Let's practice a little bit. In this exercise you are supposed to underline the most suitable verb form in each sentence. Here you have an example. I wish Peter doesn't live or didn't live or wouldn't live so far away from the town center. We'll have to take a taxi. Why do you think didn't live is the right option? Right, because this is a present reference. Yeah? So when you want to express a present reference with wish, the pattern is wish subject past simple. That's why we call it unreal past. Because even though we are using past simple, we have a present reference. Now take some minutes, stop the video and try to choose your answers. Then we will check together. Ready? Let's see the answers. OK. Now it's very important to understand why each one is the right option. Let's start again with the first one. We mentioned that this is a present reference. That's why we need past simple. Think a little bit, stop the video, and then we will check your answers. Here you are. These are the reasons why. Had bought because it's a past reference. Didn't have to because it's present reference reference. Here we have would because we are expressing annoyance or a complaint. Could because we are talking about ourselves. Past perfect because we refer to the past. Would again because we are expressing either annoyance or a complaint past simple for present reference and past perfect for past reference. Good. Remember that we are using first certificate language practice by Michael Vince. We covered unit 8. Thank you.